He's now running for president. Will you continue to give speeches? Oh, yeah. I, I got to pay our bills. Former President Bill Clinton this week defending his wife and their foundation, but making it clear he intends to keep making big money on the lecture circuit. And it's time now for our Sunday Groove. Fox News senior political analyst uh, Britt Hume, Lisa Lehrer, national politics reporter for the Associated Press, Michael Needham, head of Heritage Action for America, and Charles Lane from the Washington Post. Well, while Hillary Clinton has still not answered questions about the speaking fees and the big foreign donations, as you saw, Bill Clinton did. Did he help or hurt Hillary, Britt? Oh, I think his answer was entirely plausible. I mean, these poor people, I mean, they're only worth it about $140 million. Of course somebody's got to go out and hustle to pay the bills while she runs for president. Now, obviously, I don't think he helped. Um, he didn't answer questions. He raised questions. And, uh, you know, in the, in a, when she's out there trying to run as a populist, he's whining about paying the bills with the kind of money they have. Obviously, this isn't going to work. I don't know whether it hurts her in the primary season phase of this to get, to get the nomination, but I think there's certainly a considerable store of stuff that's being built up that could be used against her and and through her him in a general election campaign. One thing that Hillary Clinton did talk about this week was immigration reform and she said that she would go even further in deferring deportations than President Obama has and that led the Republican National Committee to very quickly put out an ad. Take a look at both. As president, I would do everything possible under the law to go even further. We've got to do several things, and I am, you know, adamantly against illegal immigrants. I made this exception basically on humanitarian grounds because of the individual stories, but certainly we've got to do more at our borders, and people have to stop employing illegal immigrants. Now, that latter statement, Lisa, was from back in 2003 when she was a senator. Uh, is Clinton going to have problems with her flips on a number of issues from what she used to believe, or at least say, to what she's saying now? And are this, is this move to the left, because everything seems to be moving from the center to the left, is that going to be enough to satisfy the left wing of her base? Well, so far it has been, right? There aren't so many other options for uh, the left wing of the Democratic Party to flock to, and they want to, like everybody who plays in politics, they want to win. So they're going to go with a candidate that's more viable. A lot of what I think Hillary Clinton is trying to do here is keep the Obama coalition together, right? Obama built this broad coalition, so you see her trying to do that on immigration to keep those that degree of turnout with Latinos. With the Baltimore speech was aimed at African Americans, keep the turnout there. She made a speech in Silicon Valley uh, several weeks ago that was really aimed at women, women in tech. So I think that's what she's doing here. She's trying to reassure critics on the left and the left party overall, the Democratic Party overall, that she will keep that coalition together and that it's a winning coalition. Clinton has taken a lot of heat uh, these last couple of weeks on emails, on the big money, the Clinton cash as it's being called as a, a, a short phrase. But take a look at this poll that came out this week from the New York Times. In March, her favorability rating was minus 11. She had 26% uh, support, uh, people saying that uh, they had a favorable opinion of her. Now it's minus one with 35% support. Michael, has she weathered the storm? Well, we'll see, and it depends. I think that one of the things that will come into play here is the American people are extremely cynical about Washington, D.C., and the kind of cesspool of corruption and favoritism that it's become. You actually see it in Hillary's launch video where she says in the very first sentence she speaks, the deck is stacked in favor of those at the top. The problem is there's been nobody who's done more to trade on their public service to benefit themselves and their friends than the Clintons. And so I think the question over the course of the campaign is can the Republican Party prosecute that case? It'll be uncomfortable for the Republican Party. There's plenty of favoritism and uh, uh, cronyism that goes on uh, amongst politicians on the Republican side, which is why things like the Export-Import Bank become incredibly important this cycle. If the Republican Party with the House and the Senate can shut down a bank that has 31 open corruption cases against it, that uses the dollars of hardworking middle-class Americans to subsidize the well-connected at Boeing, that shows a difference between the favoritism and the cronyism of the Clintons and a Republican Party that fights for opportunity for everybody but favoritism for nobody. Chuck, your read, has Hillary Clinton been damaged by the private emails, the Clinton cash, or not? You know, there's a 
The poll number you just showed would suggest the answer is no. She hasn't been damaged, arguably even enhanced, but I think it has damaged her in the following sense. I think it's undermined a little bit the morale of her own supporters who are looking at this situation and saying, oh my God, you know, are we going to have to spend the next year and a half doing nothing but playing defense and all this stuff? Why couldn't they control themselves? Why couldn't they just not make $100 million? Why wasn't $50 million enough? You hear a lot of that undercurrent. And even though we were all kind of snickering at the Bernie Sanders challenge, it's not serious, et cetera, et cetera, you know, it gave him a talking point when he came out of the box. It's something he's going around Iowa talking about. And, you know, I think that any candidate would tell you they'd rather have no negatives of this size out there against them than this one. And I think, it, uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a bleeding, uh, bleeding ulcer on her campaign.